Hi friends, welcome back to People Full of Joy. If you're new, welcome, I'm so glad you found me. If you've been following for a while, welcome back. So today we are making a childhood favorite recipe of mine. Growing up, this is something my grandmother made quite frequently because it was my favorite. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I grew up in a family. I was, my dad was the only supporter of our family. I had three older brothers. And so budget foods were super important for our family when you're feeding that many kids on one income. So we had a recipe that my dad made because it was his mom's recipe. It's not super hard, super simple, very basic ingredients, super filling. Everybody loved it and I'm excited to make it for you today. So let's get in the kitchen and make it. So this is a, what we called, it had, it had several names. It had um, hamburger gravy. It was called um, poor man stroganoff. <laughs> it had um, several other names. I can't think off the top of my head, but that was the two that I knew it as, either hamburger gravy or poor man stroganoff. So we're gonna go over here to the stove. Right now we have, we have some potatoes in a pot right here. We're getting these boiled. We have about a pound of ground beef over here. We're gonna turn our burner on. We've got our little Pampered Chef meat masher. And we're gonna get our meat chopped up here. And we are going to make a gravy, basically. And what I love about this recipe is it is so quick. It's so easy. The ingredients are very simple, very basic. All you need to add to this is a vegetable and you're good to go. All right, so we have our ground beef nicely browned. So we're gonna go ahead and we put a little bit of salt and pepper in here too, but we're gonna season it again once we get our gravy going because gravy requires quite a bit of seasoning because there is really no flavor in there. So we've got a little bit of flour. Now gravy is not an exact science. And I'm gonna add a little bit more oil and because I typically, this was always made with vegetable oil or shortening, I'm trying to go a little bit um, healthier, trying to stay away from the vegetable fats. And so we're just gonna use a little bit of avocado oil because that's something that is more of a neutral flavor. But we wanna make sure that we have enough fat in here um, because we need to make gravy and you gotta have fat to make gravy. So let's go ahead and stir this around a little bit. We're gonna have to cook this for a couple of minutes because we wanna cook that raw flour taste out. We don't want any raw flour. We wanna make sure that all of our oil and the, the drippings and the grease from your ground beef is absorbed in the flour. Otherwise, you're gonna wind up with a really greasy gravy and that's just not gonna taste good. All right, I think we've let this go long enough. We've got some milk here and we're gonna start off with just a little bit of milk to begin with because we need to have a chance to start really getting our flour up off the bottom of our pan to get all of our good flavor that's down here. So we need to get this all scooped up. We're gonna go ahead and turn our heat back up a little bit now because we're gonna want our gravy to come to a boil. All right, we can go ahead and add some more milk now. We just wanted to take a second to get that um, step up off the bottom. Our potatoes are boiling over here. With your potatoes, we've eaten it several different ways. We've eaten it over egg noodles, which is super good. We've eaten it over just boiled potatoes like this that you mash with a fork on your plate. We've also eaten it with mashed potatoes. If you have it in the budget, if you're able to afford to have mashed potatoes, so if you have it in your budget, use you know milk and butter and, and stuff like that and make mashed potatoes, it's super good over mashed potatoes. I still think we can add just a touch bit more milk. As I said, making gravy is not an exact science. So it's hard to say add this much flour this much milk because you just have to do this by eye. You have to be able to look at it and say, okay, it's starting to get thick. I need to add a little bit more milk. 
Okay, this is looking good. We're gonna go ahead and add our sour cream and this is where the, the stroganoff part of this recipe comes in. We're gonna put in some sour cream. Let's turn our heat down. We're gonna put in several big dollops of sour cream. This is what gives that sour taste like a good stroganoff has. Now, if you have it in your budget, you are welcome to add mushrooms to this. As I said, I'm making this the way that we made it when I was growing up only because we were on a very tight budget. We needed very minimal ingredients to make this. So while this sour cream is melting into our gravy, let's go ahead and drain our potatoes. All right, we're gonna set those back down. We lift the lid on so they can just kind of steam, get the rest of the water out of them. And we're just gonna go ahead and finish getting our sour cream mixed in here. Let's go ahead and do a little more salt and pepper. We salt and peppered our ground beef as it was cooking, but we definitely need this flavor again, so we need to add some more. You wanna, you wanna put season, seasoning in every layer that you cook. You're seasoning as you go, because every time you add an ingredient to the recipe, you're changing what's in there, the amount that's in there, so you're changing the amount of seasoning. So you need to continue to add seasoning to this to make sure that it's properly seasoned all the way through. My family, they were big pepper eaters, so they love to have lots and lots of ground pepper on um, something like this. That was not me, but I do like a little bit. But this is looking super, super tasty. Looks like our sour cream has nicely dissolved into here. as I slosh it, which is part of making gravy. Mm. That is perfect. A little more salt. Cause like I said, gravy really needs a lot of seasoning. I, mean, I think we could even do a little more pepper. I'm, I'm, I'll be okay with a little more pepper. Hubby can put extra on his. Let's get this mixed in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put a couple of our potatoes in here. because we're doing this the cheap way <laughs> or the less expensive way by not doing mashed potatoes. We have our just straight boiled potatoes and we are going to just mash these up with our fork. They're nice and tender, they're literally falling apart. So we're just gonna mash these down with our fork. Give us a nice bed to put our gravy. Right, set our fork aside so we don't lose it. Let's grab a spoon for our gravy and we're gonna go ahead and just pile on some of this poor man's stroganoff. This is gonna be super tasty. My hubby had never had this recipe until I started making it for him. When we got together 30 years ago, he was our sole income at that point. So finding recipes that we could make that let us... So this is his portion. This is a big bowl full, but this is super tasty. But I'm going to take a little bite out of his bowl. It'll be okay. He'll be fine with it. We're just gonna try a little bit here. Very hot, as you can tell. Mm. 
Oh, so good. Mm. Anyway, very inexpensive, very hearty, very filling, super good. Add whatever kind of veggies you want to it to the side. If you want to add a piece of bread, um, whatever you need to do to make it more of a complete meal. But this is perfect, super inexpensive. I want to thank you guys for joining me in my kitchen today as we made a childhood favorite of mine that is super inexpensive, super tasty. Everyone's going to love it. Lots of different things you can do with it. But it means so much to me that you guys would take time out of your day to spend time with me in my kitchen as we made a childhood favorite. I hope you guys will join me again someday soon. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell over there so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And most of all, give this video a thumbs up for me. And we'll see you guys again in the next video. Have a great day, friends, and God bless.